If citizens truly want less migration, you should not only look at your migration policy, you should look at your entire economic and labor market policy. You can say there's a huge discrepancy between two big trends in the Western world. On one hand, over the last three decades or so, we have seen a process of economic liberalization, where it's become easier in most Western countries to hire and fire people, to hire people on temporary contracts, where the level of social protection has been decreased. On the other hand, we see an increasing political call for more immigration restrictions, for less migration and particularly less low-skilled migrants coming in. And this is a fundamental contradiction, because you can't have both of them at the same time. The reason for continuing migration of low-skilled migrants filling up all sorts of jobs is that there's a real labor demand. So the migration policy trying to put in a border is only scratching the surface because it's not taking away the fundamental cause of that migration. I can give one example. Uh, for instance, a big source of irregular migration is those of domestic workers or people in care. So I think about nannies, for instance, or people cleaning houses. That migration is much higher in countries that lack government-funded schemes, for instance, for childcare. If you have a society with weak public provisions for childcare or elderly care, you're bound to have more migration of domestic workers. Now, you may find it a good thing or a bad thing, that is in a way not the issue. But if as a society you want less of that migration for whatever reasons, you would have to rethink your care policies, for instance. That is just one example, where even in a country like Morocco, you now see that the middle classes don't want to do certain jobs. So, for instance, Moroccan graduates, they refuse to be a construction worker or an agricultural laborer. So even in a country which has no welfare positions whatsoever, no benefits for the unemployed, there are certain jobs that increasing number of natives rather not do anymore, and indeed it's sub-Saharan workers that sometimes start to fill in those places. And it creates a lot of debate about we have high unemployment and we still have immigration, but it's very difficult to force people to work they don't want to do. And employers often prefer migrants because they're better motivated and they're, working, they're, they're willing to work harder. And this is a fundamental uh, feature of labor markets in wealthy societies, that certain jobs are seen as degrading and migrants often want to do those jobs. The consequence of being, being of that, if citizens truly want less migration, you should not only look at your migration policy, you should look at your entire economic and labor market policy. And so it really comes back to the question of what type of society do we want to live? And if you create an open and very liberal society, you're inevitably going to have migrants coming, both those classified as desirable and those as less desirable because there's a consistent demand for that type of labor.